Hi everyone, Alex Gent here. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I think is the most important movement for both club swinging and staff spinning. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'll also be showing some martial applications of this movement. Okay, so let's get into it. So when we start, I'm going to be starting off with the clubs. Um, if you think of when we're using the staff, if you think of the side that's the thumb side, if you like, is, is representative of where the club would be. So as I show you the movement, I'll explain what I mean. Okay, to start with, I'm going to be showing you the movement with the club. Um, from side to side, I'm just going to be just doing a basic pendulum. So it's swinging across my body at shoulder level, both sides. I'm changing this to the other hand. So the changeover is going to be in the middle. It comes up, the club's facing towards my head. I change hands here and then I let it slide out to the side. And again, I pendulum on the other side as well. Okay, again, shoulder level. So let's do the same with the staff. So same movement with the staff. Pendulum from side to side. We're gonna do the hand change over in the middle. So hand change over, as I said, imagine this is the club side, so the thumb side. That's where the club is, so you'll be changing over at this point and then taking it into the other hand and then you can pendulum on the other side as well. We can then go backwards and forwards from side to side. So we'll go just from side to side, pendulum, making sure it's shoulder level from side to side. Make sure with this side, the, the back side of the staff is behind your arm, so it's behind your arm rather than in front of your arm, it has to be behind. Okay, and we're just going side to side, you can do this both with a club or a staff. So this next part of the movement, I'm bringing the club up at a 45 degree angle, so it's kind of coming in towards my head, it's as if you're going to hit yourself on the head but you don't and you just rest it on your shoulder, okay? When you're first learning this movement, you might just want to rest it here as it makes it easier when you turn your body 180 degrees and then throw it out to the other side. And then you connect that to your body movement. So when it's resting here, you turn your whole body around, face the opposite way and um, throw the club out. You then let it pendulum across and then you bring it back up again. Okay, so you turn your body, throw it out, Pendulum across, bring it back up. Okay, and you just carry that movement going until you can then do it all in one. So when it comes up, you want to let it drop down when you're doing it in, a, in a fluid movement. You let it drop, let the weight drop, and you feel that weight of the club swing around and then cast out to the opposite side. So as it comes up, it swings around and then casts up. You want to avoid doing something like this because this is a different movement or anything where you're pulling it like this. Again, that's a different movement. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's just different to what, what I'm showing you here. You want to make sure that it's coming in towards you, turn your body, throw it out. Okay? So, then when you um, change the direction, you essentially bring it across your body this time and you're at this 45 degree angle. Turn your body and then throw it out this way. So we're casting it away. So rather than before, we're going inwards. This time we're going outwards. Okay, essentially, this is just a reverse of the other direction. 45 degrees, 45, cast it out. Okay, so then now at this point, we're in this position where it's coming across, I can actually change it to my other side and then do the same on the other side. We're back to the beginning where I stop here, 45 degree angle, throw it out, bring it back round, there, okay? And I just repeat the same process on this side, both directions, inwards and outwards. 45, cast it out. Okay, then we can do the same with the staff. 
So, again, the staff is the same. Imagine this is the club side, pointing in towards my body. I turn 180 degrees and then throw it out. Remember, this is on the outside of my arm. I bring it back round and then I can bring it back up again. Okay? And then you smooth the movement out. Feel the weight of the, uh, the staff drop down. You want to feel this weight drop down. Create a circle behind, like a circular pendulum behind my head. And then I let that swing and then pass out on the other side. Okay? Stop and then reverse the direction the other way. Okay? It then comes back. I can then transfer into the other hand. Back to the side back up and now we're on the other side again same idea as the, with the clubs I bring it in at this 45 degree angle throw it out and this time it's going across my body and I stop at the side and I reverse the direction so I'm casting it away from my body so it's going outwards and it comes up turn my body throw it out okay so in a routine you start by going inwards, so inwards, one, and then outwards, change hands. So inwards to start with, stop, outwards, change hands. Inwards, stop, outwards, change hands. Inwards, stop, outwards, change hands. Same with the club, inwards, stop, outwards, change hands. Inwards, stop, outwards, change hands. You just can kind of carry on this pattern. And it just continues in this cycle as many times as you want to do it. So all these movements that we've done with the club and the staff, you can do with a sabre. And actually, I mean, I'm using a sabre, it could be any sort. But what it does is it gives you that blade alignment um, and that teaches you how to use the club and staff properly. If you think about doing these movements, you want your knuckles on top. So when I'm turning here, as I'm striking down, see my knuckles are on top there? I don't want something strange like this. That'd be like holding your sword and doing a cut like this. Doesn't make any sense. So you want to make sure that when you're turning, you're cutting with the blade down. Um, and then that gets your hand in the right position. So when you're thinking of the weapons application of this, all these movements are the same with the sabre. You see? It's the same movement with the club or the staff. You can do it turning turn your body, going the other direction. Yeah? It's all the same thing. So again, with the staff you can do these movements. I was showing it holding it from the center, but actually if we move our hand down to here, we can also do these movements in a more sort of standard grip. I would actually hold the staff. So if you think of this movement where we're raising, again, I'll show you raising from the middle, but if we've got a hand here, we could raise, turn, cut. Now, obviously now, I'm actually putting footwork in as well, but the movement is still the same. All these sort of movements where we're raising it up, turning, cutting. And that's why I think this exercise is so important because it actually teaches you, um, I suppose, planes of control, that type of thing, and transitioning whether it's, like I say, a club, staff, sword, it's all the same thing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, please like, share and subscribe and if you've got any comments I'll be interested to hear what you thought so leave them down below um, and I'll catch you again soon, take care.